I'm travelling around the world to meet some of the people who have been testing the 572 XP in their environment. I'm standing outside a sawmill here in Radium Hot Springs in Canada. And I'm here to meet with Warren and George that work as loggers in the, uh, the mountains here. They've got a lot of trees to fell, so let's go give them a hand. I'm Andy Campbell, and this is Canada. How you doing, Warren? You out here on your own? No, my partner's a couple tree lengths over on to the right of me there. The forest for me is just my home. It's where I grew up. It's where I work. It's, it's where, where I outdoor, outdoor recreate. recreate. It's, it's pretty, pretty much, much everything. everything. Without the forest, I don't know what I would do. As a person, I like to think of myself as a hard working, responsible, experienced logger. I've been logging since I got out of high school, and that was 30, over 30 years ago. So. The things I like about Warren is that he's just a good faller, and it's nice to have a good falling partner who can produce a lot of wood with you and work with, and a good friend to go out fishing and hunting and that kind of thing with, too. Well, I'll talk to you in a bit. You betcha. I've been logging for 30, 31 years, and I've been falling for probably 27 of them years. For me, the forest would be my lifestyle. I do it five days a week, and me and the wife, we hunt deer, elk, moose, bears. What kind of altitude are we up here? Here's about, I think, about 4,000 feet. 4,000 feet, and how does that affect the timber? It makes it slow grow. It's And that it, makes it hard? It is. It's, it's hard timber, and plus we've got such a slow growing season here. Is what hard work I, for the soil. It is. In the summertime, it gets to be about 40 degrees Celsius, the hotter part of the year. In the winter, it gets to be minus 40 degrees Celsius, too. So, best of both worlds. So that's a fair amount of timber that we can see on the deck down there, Warren. How long is it taking you to fell that lot? This is what I fell yesterday, like what's below us here. That's a day's work. That's a day's work. That's a lot of work for a saw. Yeah. are proud people. They work hard, they deserve to be proud. So what do you reckon? Did it pass the test? I think so. Yep. Give you the power that you needed? Definitely. It's reliable. It's got lots of power for the size of it. It's like a 372, but it seems to be lighter. It has a little it's more chain speed as well. You need a saw big enough to cut the wood we have, and pretty much you need at least a 70cc saw for that. And if you get in bigger wood, then this one might not even be enough, but I think it would pretty much handle to anything up to five feet easily. The anti-vibration on it, it's, it's great. It's, I hurt my hand a couple weeks ago and probably wouldn't be using it right now if it wasn't for that. You guys must work at many different altitudes. Does having the auto tune in the saw help you with keeping the tuning exactly where it needs to be? Oh, definitely. Yeah. You never have to mess with it. It's same thing in the winter time. You don't have to bugger with it either. It's all around really good saw. So. Okay then. So uh, you're gonna bring all this lot down? Hopefully, I'll get her done. Okay. Would you like a hand? If you don't mind, it'd be awesome. Well, that's pretty hard work, and it needs a hard saw, a tough saw to deal with that. And the 572 has done that, no problems whatsoever. For more tests in extreme environments, check out the other episodes from the World Tour.